time for another quick math game. Now this game is called Fact War. It's meant to be played with two players, sometimes three. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to make some kind of currency. If you have fake money like Monopoly money, you can use it. Or you can use paper and you can draw things like straws, beach balls. For my currency, I'm going to use tacos. The next thing you need is you need dice. You need two to four dice. Do you have dice? Do you have dice? Does anybody have dice? Okay, if you don't have dice, there's ways around it. All you need to do is you need to find an object that's kind of like a cube that can, that can just roll and, you know, land on each side. Maybe let your parents try. Hey man, do you have any board games at home? What? Yeah, board games. Board games have dice in them. Um, I have Monopoly. Yeah, there is dice in Monopoly. Oh. Oh. Okay, apparently I do have dice, so I'm ready to go for the game. Let's get started. Now, there's a few different ways you can play. Let's start with the first way. Okay, for game one, each player will need two dice, and five of something. So in my case, five tacos. So player one will roll the dice. Player two will roll the dice. Whoever has the bigger sum gets to take something from the other person. So in my game, I get to take a taco from someone else. The game is over when you run out. So your goal is to get all 10 tacos or stars. Be creative. Use something. Now you can play this game studying addition or multiplication. You ready? Let's play multiplication. Two times four, eight. Two times five, ten. Here you go. All right. Taco. Two times six, 12. One times four is four. I'll take this back. Game style two, I call this challenge mode. This way, each player needs five currency and only one dice. The two players will roll at the exact same time and whoever can add or multiply the two dice the quickest wins the round. Now the third way to play is kind of a combination of the first two. So once again, each player will need five tacos or some kind of currency. Each player will need two dice. Now, the reason this game is different is because you can play at different ages and at different levels. So a grade one student can play with his two dice and practice addition, and a grade four can play with his, two, with his or her two dice and study multiplication. So each player would roll their two dice and the first person that's able to correctly answer their equation wins the round. I have five tacos. I am ready to play. Renegade, renegade, renegade. Stop. Mom says you have to play with me. Mom, Avery keeps doing TikTok dances. Avery, quit Thank dancing you. and play with your Thank brother. You. Fine, I'll play. He's in grade one. I'm gonna beat him. Six. Five times four. Another taco for me. Three. Seven tacos. One more taco and I win. 
win. I win, I win, I win. Oh, I can't believe a grade one beat me. It's okay, good game, sister. How do I not know this? What was I doing in math class? All right. Well, that's it for Fact War. If you need some modifications, please look in the description for some more helpful info. All right, go practice your math skills.